Okay, so um, I'm uh, Fosca Giannotti and work at the National Research Council in, in Italy. My institute is in Pisa. And uh, my talk will be about uh, explainable machine learning for trustworthy AI. So it would be a, a, bit, a bit technical, but just to, uh, this was done on purpose to, in some sense, to, to see what are the, the directions and the, and the research challenges that researchers are tackling uh, down there. <laughs> Okay, so what is trustworthy AI? It is being mentioned several, uh, several times in, my, in the previous speeches. The fact that um, we are in front of having a, a, an AI for society. So if you want to have a, an AI with, that really works for society, that help to have uh, the, the, the new uh, AI augmented, uh, augmented society, we need to, to do the effort also to uh, to make it trustworthy. And that means that there are those three dimensions which are very important. Our AI systems have to be within the rule of law. They have to be ethics and they have to be robust. And what does mean ethics? Ethics is not something that should be outside. Ethics should be something that uh, if you want to have an AI, an AI augmented uh, uh, society, that means the, uh, uh, the, the values of the society that we want to, to uh, that imagine will, be, will have to be incorporated as much as possible also in the AI system that will support that society. So the, the ethics values that, uh, uh, on, on which uh, also Japan very much contributed in the discussion of this last uh, uh, from 2017, 2018, there has been a, a huge debate on which should be on the values principles that we should do the effort of incorporated in the technology. So it's a respect for human autonomy. So the systems should be uh, uh, preserve the, the, the capacity of humans uh, of, uh, uh, to, to act. So preserve the human agency. So the, their self-determination, so there shouldn't be no coercion, direct or indirect, and no manipulation. Of course, they, they, they should prevent of, of, of harm. So that means they have to be safe and secure. Even when something goes wrong, there has to be a, 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 a safety uh, uh, behind. No discrimination, fairness, uh, equity should be incorporated in, in those systems and also explicability. Explicability meant uh, in, in two different dimensions. One is the, the capacity of to explain how it works. And the other, in the other dimension is uh, who is responsible for accountability. Those two components are, again, principle. And, and let me also advocate the fact that uh, explicability, it is also a basic brick also for the other, for the other ethical, ethical uh, principles that we would like to, to investigate. So, so I, I think that uh, if we want to have uh, an AI augmented society, we have to ask uh, the first question is that, uh, let's concentrate, for example, in, uh, in uh, AI decision making in very high stake scenarios where there is a human and uh, a machine that uh, provide a recommendation suggestion. It's fantastic because those recommendations and suggestions are the result of uh, acquiring a, a enormous quantity of knowledge and synthesizing, and providing, providing some, some form to the decision maker. But if this form is not intelligible, it's not done in the, in the, uh, in the uh, appropriate language that the, 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 the decision, decision makers can have, Will have a, uh, will not have the effect. So why why it has to be so clear and so transparent uh, the recommendation? Because it has to uh, help the, the the decision makers not to delegate to the algorithm. That that will be dramatically uh, 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 negative negative uh, uh, result for AI. Because if uh, if uh, at the end. Uh, the, the people will simply delegate, then we reduce the capacity of, uh, of uh, acting. So we will not be uh, capable of incorporating the, the basic principles. So 
respecting the human agency. On the other side, on the other side, if if the, the 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 people do not delegate, if they do not trust, they do not understand, do not trust, they will take decisions without taking into advantage of the enormous quantity of uh, knowledge that AI can bring. Even in this case, in this case, uh, 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 will be uh, will be a problem. So. Uh, uh, Bringing the information in the in the appropriate format for the for the and the intelligible format for the users, it's the fundamental the fundamental break for making all those other uh, wishes that some of, that we all uh, have expressed. So things, for example, criminal justice, finance, healthcare. When the, there is a physician or a judges that has to take their at the end, we have the the responsibility. It is not easy to fight against an algorithm. Um, uh, so, or uh, not, the, uh, you, you can do it simply if you say, so the algorithms within my decisional process are not useful. So we have to avoid those two extremes. Uh, I'm sure that all of you know these, uh, these uh, um, examples of Compass that was it's sort of a manifesto of a, motivating manifest of explainable AI, where the, 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 a, a, an automated system, a recommendation system for judges, uh, simply providing a, a ranking, a ranking for a recidivism. Uh, uh, it, it was, it was, uh, uh, it, it was uh, discovered to be very biased with, against, against uh, b black people. So the problem behind this example is that, I mean, the bias were in the data. So the system probably simply reflected the bias which were in the data. But the way the information was presented was simply a number, low risk or high risk. So, it, 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 the, the, on the, so there are two, two different issues which emerged here. So the system was badly designed, the bias were there, or the judges was not putting conditions of having the appropriate information. And the appropriate information was uh, with, uh, uh, with respect to uh, the bias which were in the training set, for example, and also the, which are the motivations, why high risk and low risk. So, and that, that put uh, in more favorable positions the, the judges. So th those are the, the, I mean, it's a simplification, but just to give you, to give you, the idea where are the problems so that uh, from one side we have a very we have fantastic algorithms which are capable of uh, bringing useful information but if we do not deliver in the appropriate way uh, uh, that will be a, a, a damage so this is uh, the topic of of erc uh, project that i'm working on which is a uh, considering uh, for uh, Focusing on, on uh, decision making, AI decision making, considering explanation as the, the basic brick for preserving the, the human, the human, and expanding the human autonomy. So the idea is that uh, a technology for empowering individuals against undecided and society, and the side effect of automatic decision making to to implement the right of GDPR has been mentioned several times. GDPR explicitly. And mention the right of explanations to help people to make a better decision to preserve and expand the human autonomy. The, the model that uh, we have in mind is uh, Dr. Rouse. It's a very intelligent agent which collaborates with other intelligent agents which are bringing new hypotheses, new challenges, new informations. But at the very end, the final decisions and the final solution, it's in the end of the of the uh, major agents and there is a, a, a collaboration among them um, so that's the the final goal of uh, of the project now we have uh, mentioned the, the the other speakers several times uh, uh, so the black box model so uh, essentially this fantastic technology deep learning technology which is very very efficient but uh, why it is black box uh, uh, what is a black box so it's a, it's a model learned from data, from many data or few data, uh, and the, the technology is uh, going ahead in this direction. But the problem is that the, the, the internals are difficult to, to understand. Not, they are not interpretable by, by, by humans. 
examples are deep neural network, but also ensemble of uh, of uh, boosting boosting the season three. We, it's we have to admit, even in that uh, in that case, even shallow uh, machine learning, you'll have uh, 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 difficulties in transforming in a narrative in a in a conversation for for the with the user. So, and of course, in the explainability of, uh, of uh, machine learning is something which is on the table since uh, the last 20 years and actually not only machine learning but in a variety of uh, in a variety of uh, uh, fields of AI and there are already some models which are natively interpretable because they they are very easily transformable in some logic rules for example this is the case of decision trees but also of linear models where you, 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 you can see the contributions of the, the various features to the, to the uh, decision. Now, what is an explanation? So there are models, I would say that there are, might be naturally uh, easy to explain, to transform in explanations. And then, but what is an explanation which is the, the currently on, on the table? So first of all, there isn't an explanation that fits for all. So it depends by the kind of user we have in front because there might be different uh, goals. So, and then users maybe want to know, am I being treated fairly? Can I contest the decision? What could I do differently if I get a, 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 to get a positive outcome? And the engineers, the data scientists, they want to know if the system works as they have designed it, the regulators. It is compliant to, to, to the rules. So that means that the, the, the mental, so the, the ideal explainers should have some model of the user background. So in order to have a diff those different, uh, different uh, uh, perspectives. So this variety of explanation, which are so far uh, on, on the table, and let me say that the research in this area has been grown dramatically in these last uh, uh, three, four years. And uh, uh, there is really a, a, an enormous repertoire of solutions, but still we are uh, at the beginning of the problem. So explanation can be, can be as a showing the, the feature relevance. So what has been the contributions to that specific uh, 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 outcome uh, of, the various, of, of the various features, which have been those which mostly contributed. And uh, for example, you can, you can see in the images and on the image data, this can be uh, is transformed in what is called saliency maps, where you saw for each specific, for, for a prediction, in this case, the, the prediction you give to the system, this, the image of this uh, bird, and then the, the prediction, the, pre the recommendation, the, 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 the outcome is Janko bird. And the motivation, the explanations, you see, here you see many different algorithms. Uh, and what is the explanation? So the explanation in this case is the, the, uh, the pixels <laughs> of the images which mostly contributed, contributed to take these decisions. So, uh, or can be in the case of test, okay, can be highlighting a portion of the test, uh, the, some keywords, which mostly were uh, were uh, responsible for, in case of a, a recommender system or a sentiment analysis system, to say if a positive, uh, positive or negative, uh, negative uh, uh, sentiment. And, and you have, uh, so the, the explanations is capable of highlighting the, the words. Or in other cases, maybe some exemplars, some exemplars uh, or, uh, or prototypes. So you see, the, the, uh, this is a Janko bird because uh, in, in my training set, uh, there are uh, the, the, this portion of the pictures resemble this, uh, this uh, prototype. This other portion of the picture resemble this other prototype. And so you offer explanation as uh, examples or, or portion of examples. Or explanation may be a narrative which combine, uh, so where you are capable of enriching, again, we are explaining why this image as being, as being the outcome is Western grape because of, uh, so uh, there is a story, a story which is, uh, is also being capable of accessing some uh, uh, 
knowledge graph, some other uh, information resource which is capable to, uh, to uh, transform in a narrative. We have seen this morning a, a presentation from, from uh, um, uh, um, Carlo Meghini. So that's the kind of, of, of explanations. Or explanation as a counterfactual. So counterfactual means that the, uh, the, the system say, okay, you have been uh, uh, classified in this way, so your loan is being rejected because this uh, feature was too high, this other feature was too low. So, but uh, if you want to change uh, uh, the outcome, you should change, uh, for example, the, the, uh, the, the kind of job or the kind of salary. Or so you, those are the, of course, not all the possible counterfactual can be really effective. And that's the story. But in this case, and for uh, psychologists uh, uh, are, uh, are advocating the fact that uh, the counterfactual is very much effective for uh, activating the, the cognitive process that put the person in condition of a, of a, a, a reason on the, on, the, uh, on the recommendation. So that's another uh, very important, and this is a, a line that we, we have taken. Okay, as I was saying before, plenty, plenty of research. We saw this morning sharp, so, uh, so th there is, a, there is a, a, a plenty of proposal that are now working on the fact that we have the, the black box. First step of the explanation problem is to find a way of generating explanations. Those explanations not necessarily yet uh, useful for any kind of users, but in the meanwhile, we are capable of uh, opening the internals. Uh, so that's the, the current uh, uh, status of the research so far. And there are plenty, plenty of proposals. And of course, that depends by the type of the data also. For example, for the image, you can have, a, as I was saying, a explanation in the form of saliency map or uh, highlighting different portion, different portion of the image or as a sharp, again, it's a different form of, uh, uh, of a saliency map, or you can have explanations as examples. You, you, so you show images that uh, uh, add the system to take this decision. So the prediction has been, this, has been, this is a sheep because in my, in my uh, uh, training set, I have similar images which are uh, annotated as sheep. Again, this is a simplification, but uh, this is the way it works. Again, for test input, I was saying, so a highlight portion of test or examples you give uh, some different, uh, some different, uh, um, in the case explanation by examples, uh, you show uh, other, uh, other examples of your data set where they were, were, were labeled as a positive. So that's why you, you uh, uh, assign it. Uh, there was the, the reason why it's being assigned uh, uh, positive. So now we have seen the things from the point of view of the semi-final product. I'm saying semi-final because this is not yet, uh, the, the, the last mile towards the users is not yet here, but uh, I, I will try to give you an overview of the current technology for reaching this uh, 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 semi-final uh, product of, of explanations. Okay, okay so. I try to give a, a sort of ontology, what is a, a explainable uh, current uh, uh, explainable uh, AI technology. So there are essentially two big families. One is uh, the explaining by design methods and the, explaining, uh, the black, uh, and then the post-talk explanation. So essentially in the first case, you, in the first case, uh, what you try to do is uh, some sense uh, you work on the uh, deep learning, let's say deep learning technology, trying to have it uh, uh, more transparent uh, by design. So try to design uh, 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 black uh, neural, deep neural network architecture such that they are capable of, in some sense, in their process, uh, collecting some semantics and being capable of uh, transforming. So. Big research here, but not yet, uh, not yet a uh, good, uh, good result. Much more research has been, uh, has been on the other kind of family, which is on the post-talk uh, explanations. In some sense, okay, you stay with the black box. Huh? So you, you stay with the current technology. 
and then you try to equip uh, your uh, your model, uh, the construction uh, your model with uh, an explanation subsystem which is capable of um, of uh, uh, produ producing uh, an explanations. And then the way, uh, of course, the in this big big uh, enormous quantity of a uh, proposal and there are models so we uh, explainers which are local other which are global other which are uh, depending by specific model and other which are agnostic i will try to give you some example only on the local and the uh, local agnostic model that means agnostic means that uh, you can change the black box essentially the black box it, it works as a, a teacher uh, a teacher and then just with a, with a, uh, with some auditing of that uh, of the of the teacher you will be capable of reconstructing how the teacher reasons and to explain so the data uh, the most used one are tabular images and text and also but also time series okay for local explanations uh, I, I will concentrate on this essentially what, what the idea is that i want to just to uh, capable to explain given a, a so you have the black box you provide a, a, a recommendation and they want to explain why that recommendation you don't want to explain all the entire model which uh, the boundary of the if you see in this image the boundary of the of the uh, of the overall decision may be complex but the boundary of the local decision might be a little bit uh, more uh, simple so you, you try, essentially what you do, you do, uh, you use your uh, black box as a, as a as, uh, you audit the black box to uh, generate, you generate a lot of samples around the points, you audit the black box to label these, uh, these uh, uh, examples. And then once you have a label, en enough label, labeled the examples in the neighborhood, you can construct a transparent model out of that. So the first proposal of this was a, a lime that uh, that's the pseudo code, but don't get uh, don't get scared. What is important here is that uh, your uh, the point important point is that given an example that you want to explain. So you have your black box are giving you a prediction. Why this prediction? So you generate the points around this sample around. We have an algorithm for generating enough points, and then. And then you audit uh, and for having the labels. And then you are, in this case, it was a, uh, at the end when you have enough point, in this case, a, a regression has been built. And then the regression has been explained with, uh, with, uh, with features relevance or saliency map. And that's uh, the first, pro the first, so Lime it was in 2016, it opened really a, a, a huge and enormous uh, uh, activity research for variation of this uh, system. We also have done uh, one of this with uh, essentially with the same idea, but uh, we changed the, the, the algorithm for generation, generating the neighborhood and also the, the, uh, the way to, 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 to tell the story, to construct the explanations that was using uh, a decision tree and extracting also the counterfactual. So just here are these examples. So you have the points that has been uh, predicted by the black box, uh, that's the star. And then and the, 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 it's the space of your, of your data. So you start to generate some, some neighborhoods, some positive and some negative. You stop when the, uh, some, and you use with this genetic algorithm, the kind of uh, uh, the perturbation that you introduce from this point are, are very, circumscribed to close to the, the, the points. And then uh, once you have enough of this point, you construct, you, it's a, you have a new training set now, and you can construct a, a transparent, a transparent uh, uh, model. We decide to have a decision tree. And as outcome, you can have also, you can have also uh, the rules, which say, okay, the motivation, why you have been, you have been uh, uh, denied your, it's because your age was less than 25, jo your job, your income was less than 39. That was the reason. What you can do for changing this? So you can increase your income and uh, you, you could change your age also or change job. In that case, you have been in, uh, uh, granted. 
generating the counterfactual, what are the good counterfactual, it's also a, dif a difficult task. So uh, again, I'm trying to give you the, the, the idea of how uh, those system works. And that can be done also for uh, image, for, for test, and that was also very successful. Just uh, the, another, another small uh, idea, and then I will go very fast on this, it's uh, that um, uh, you can try to, to, to change perspective instead of staying on the space of the features of the, where the, your black box has been trained, you can try to, to go in a very simplified space, which is in a latent space that, uh, that you can learn with the, the, with the autoencoding and the con uh, decoding uh, mechanism, essentially. So you, there is this mechanism of variation autoencoders. You may be familiar with all these uh, uh, fake images which are created by the, by, by, um, by a picture. So th those are thanks to this technology that essentially it learns from a, a training set. It learns uh, a, an identical function. So how to compress in a reduced space and then from the reduced space to come back to the original space. So these are fantastic technology. So the idea is that we might use this uh, fantastic technology to, to do what? To uh, not to, to learn, and so to, to, to go in the latter space, to generate the neighborhood in the latter space, and then to learn the, the system tree, I mean, the, 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 the transparent model in the latent space. And then once we are in the latter space, come back with the decoder in the original space. Um, this is again a simplification, but it's worked very, very well for images, for example. So, so we do the encoding, so we generate the neighborhood. We go back to the original space where we ask the black box to labels. And then we have now a, a, a training set in the latter space, in the latter space uh, uh, with labels. So we can learn a decision tree on the which is a much more simplified space. Huh? Um, we can learn a decision tree and we can generate rules and counterfactual in the latter space. But unfortunately, <laughs> these rules and this counterfactual will be expressed in the language of the latter space, which are not, uh, not in the original space. So it might be even more not understandable than the other one. So how we, we come back to the original space? We come back, we use the rule and the counterfactual and the, uh, the factual rules as a way to, to uh, uh, go to the, the, the extensional portion in the, in the training set and generate examples. So you use the rule, the rule for, for selecting examples in the general set and providing some explanation by examples. And explanation by examples, this is a, 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 an idea how it works. So you have an image zero that you, it has been classified as a zero by your black box. Now you want to explain why. So the system will generate with this uh, facilitation of going back and learning, do the learning in the latent space, will generate some uh, uh, other images which are examples of positive examples and some counter examples. So, so uh, so if you, if you change some portion of the image it would have been classified as four, if you change other portion of the image it would have been classified as a seven. So, and uh, this, this idea works also very well with, uh, with the time series. We have a, a, also a nice result also with the time series. I, I show you a, a same, the same game. We go in the latter space, we uh, learn the, the, the decision tree, in the, in the latter space, we generate examples uh, and the count, uh, and counter examples. And here, there is also another, another extension, the fact that once you have enough examples and counter examples, you can also try to, to build a, a, some semantic annotation, doing some semantic annotation of these, uh, of these uh, uh, examples and, and counter examples. I'll show you the, the example just to so here is the time series that has been classified. This is the sound of a bell. Um, it has been classified, uh, uh, recognized by our CIS black box as a bell. And why? We want to ask why. Uh, so the, the, the answers will be a set of examples. Many, many uh, time series where at this shape were classified, were labeled as labels. 
there were other different shapes of uh, time series that were not uh, a bell. And then you can also have some factor rules. This has been classified as a bell because as this uh, shapelet, which is a, a, a specific form uh, variation in the time series, it has uh, this, uh, the shapelet one, it has a shapelet two, and the shapes, shapelet seven is not contained. And again, you can have uh, the counter, the counter factor. And this is, of course, uh, this is, uh, of course, that's uh, the idea is to have all those kind of explanations, factor, counterfactor, decision tree, exemplars, counter exemplars, and feature importance uh, all together, and the sort of export which help uh, the designer to choose uh, to choose uh, which one use. And there is some code also. There is plenty of activity also on transparent by design, but matter of time, I don't I don't uh, talk about this. But I want to talk, uh, uh, just conclude with uh, what is the final objective of the, of the research. The final objective is the daughter house model. So uh, it's the ambition is to have an explanation as a human machine conversation. That means that the classifier has a proposal that there is a Y and the Y has a, a factual and a counterfactual, maybe also some examples or maybe also some uh, the other questions are asked by the user. So what happens if I remove some features? What, are, what will happen? And that will put the, the, the in condition to reason. So that means that we have to have a different kind of uh, machine learning uh, uh, methods. So classifier that are, are capable of a uh, deferred decision or which are capable to ask human a second opinion or to model two, uh, uh, two ways of reinforcement. But it's not yet finished the story because we need also to have some mental models of uh, the uh, human machine. At the very end, what we have to evaluate is not only the, not only the machine, not only the machine learning performance, uh, machine learning plus explanation. We have to explain uh, to evaluate much the entire system, the social technical system altogether. Is the decision that has been taken uh, better uh, uh, or not? So. Uh, we are putting in place a, a variety of, uh, of experiment, experiments, uh, uh, controlled trials that help us to understand the mental models and to model the human decision making and also to consider that in the explanation. So take home message uh, as before. So the objective is uh, for realizing a, 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 a AI, a, AI augmented the society, we need to empower individuals against the side effect of uh, automatic decision making, to reveal and protect new vulnerabilities, to implement the right of explanation, to help people to make better decisions, align algorithms with human values, to preserve and expand the human autonomy, improve, and of course, also improve stand. You know, it, it is important also that we, we push our innovators, our industry, to work in that direction. It is important that we, we go towards guidelines that, uh, that uh, are also uh, within the, the rule of law that affords our, uh, our uh, AI producer to also to go in this direction of ethical, of ethical AI. Of course, this is a joint work of a plenty of people which have participated and uh, so Thanks now, and the several projects are putting the effort uh, in this uh, uh, bigger, uh, bigger uh, uh, ambition.